I could talk for a year. I could just talk every week about this thing with faith. It's like when you can see faith for what it is, it it's an automatic thing that happens. And I'll use the word she used, the lambana, mm -hmm. receipt. When you see faith for what it actually is, you have received it. Do, do you see yeah, what yes, I'm saying? Right, right. And and then what happens is is faith. Within faith is contained everything God's ever thought, everything God's ever said, everything He's ever, ever done, everything He ever felt, why He was saying it, all the inner workings or background behind why He would say something, why He would do something, all that's contained in there. And when you see faith for what it actually is, and you lumbano it, what happens is, is you begin to be privy to like the conversations they had. Because listen, everything that God had has ever said is not recorded in the Bible. Right. Right? A lot is recorded there. But there is like in between the lines. There's the spirit of truth that's there to be seen. And you can get insight into what they felt, what they thought, what they were talking about, when it was going on. And then you can see that and you can start being blessed by it. But then you start giving utterance to it. And other people begin seeing it. And then they be, begin to be able to connect to this God that seems so far from them because he's like a vapor in the sky in their mind. They can't see his heart, they think. They can't know what's going on in there. They can't know what's happening in that guy's heart. They can't see why he might have done something. How can they connect with him? But all of that is there. But we had faith backwards, and so that just messed up the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But it's like seeing faith. Once you see faith for what it is, that thing is doing something to you that eyes and the mind of human can't even really comprehend. Yeah. Eyes can't see, nor can the mind of human comprehend what faith starts doing to a person when they behold it for what it is. And so Gwen's right. If you haven't listened to those three messages about faith, go back and listen to them. And before you listen to them, tell God, listen, I don't want to get caught up in trying to understand everything with my intellect, but I just want to see faith for what it is. And then listen to the messages innocently and just trust that God's going to bring revelation to you. Do you know the dates of those? I, I don't, but maybe I'll post them in the Bible study page. Okay. Um, just yeah. so everybody can see where, where they're at. Wasn't that on August?